When you're starting out, the, the first you just go on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't look to the even the end of the week. If you can get through that day, that's a good day, you know, with, without too much happening. So it's a gradual process of you let them go to go to school. You let them go, you know, to go on a camp. You, you slowly um, test. Yeah, you know, can I? Is it going to be a good outcome if if I allow him to go on a camp? It's hard. Now I have great confidence in them and I can go to them at any time and um, say how is she progressing or is there any problems or if she has a problem that's really discussed openly. It's not easy at all advocating um, for yourself and for your child, uh, particularly when you're in very challenging situations. Um, because you're so emotionally connected to, to the situation, it's very hard to step out of that. Uh, and you shouldn't have to, to be honest, you shouldn't, but sometimes it's easier if, if you do. Uh, you know when she comes home what her mood is, and sometimes I'll ask her why she liked this, but she won't sort of say, so I see the coordinator and he sort of fills me in on the little something may have happened something trivial or something and he just fills me in. The program has open days which I uh, usually make sure I, I attend and uh, also um, I ring up now and then just on you know every couple of weeks to speak to the manager and, and sort of just get a report on how things are going with Alison. If there were issues, I believe I'd see that in Nick's behaviour. When he comes home, look, he doesn't say too much, but I can tell he's settled, he's happy. Um, so I kind of think things are okay there. If there's any problems, the Employment Training Services offers a regular time for clients and family members to meet with their staff. I do think the staff are approachable and I have spoke to management before. So if, if I had a real issue, I would speak to them. But um, no, things are okay at the moment, but it is something to be mindful of.